It was a legit emergency food. It was legit the remaining 18 people that they decided to- <laughs> Oh, you idiot! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. An axe stuck into the door of the cable car station. It definitely wasn't there before. Oh, shut up. My god. I can't stand this game. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. Okay. Don't break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If I start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> you know. shutting the fuck up would help. Look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Honestly, here's the thing. The axe is there. It was right on the door. You want me to smash said door to create enough noise to draw attention. I think we could just do with going through the window for once, so stop being... Chamba. I won't fit, but you will. Are you Enjoy nuts? It. You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Dad be watching. Do it. <clears throat> hmm. uh, all right. Here goes. Bet. See? The uh, window's yeah, big I enough. <laughs> I don't know why you gotta complain. On. Oh, come on. Oh, oh yeah. Come oh on. God. That's what she said. Pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here. I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Oh. Anything. No, man. I think there's spiders in here. Be careful. Hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dick. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. Almost. Oh. See? Struggling for what, bro? Come on. Matt, seriously? Oh, she's mad because I wasn't there. Alright, what the hell was that? What? I'm in the pitch black with spider webs and dust and ugh, you just go wandering off? Em, I just... Don't M me. This is a complete and total breakdown of even the slightest glimmer of trust I might have had that you can protect me from the bad things that are out here. And I am just majorly bumming out. Em, just stop. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, see, you weren't thinking, for one thing. Anyways. Oh. <sighs> Damn. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Damn, uh, I just... Everything is, like, so busted up. Yeah. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Huh. That frame is off the wall. Huh, okay. So we got the sanatorium. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such Cable a mess. Car. This place was barely in working condition before, and now the tower. Okay. Hey, look, fire tower. Hey, Magellan. Maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? I mean, at this point, I don't think I can turn anything on. Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <sighs> Hashtag. So depressing. 
their dynamic really annoys me. I don't even know why or how they're able to tolerate each other enough to be with, with each other. There's gotta be something we can do. All ears. Look at all this crap. There's gotta be something useful in here, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh. Okay. So the key is not here. Great. No keys, no cable car. So back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? What? I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, it should. Probably, yeah. Matt, we've got to get to that radio. the radio to call for help. Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. Are you serious, what? bro? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number now two, you're doing nothing this? else matters because Emily is always right. Are you right. seriously doing this uh -huh. right now, bro? Oh my god, you're annoying. I could actually see why Matt and you broke up, deadass. Oh, hold up. <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. <sighs> okay, so y'all going down there, right? But after that, then what? Are y'all gonna like try and jump? Or... Uh, oh. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Wait, she just found a light? Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Okay. I hate heights, but. <laughs> look at that, look at that. You almost <sighs> died. Yeah. Stupid dog. Thanks. Maybe um, you should go first to protect me. Okay. Hey, yo, this is horrible. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I don't like this. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Yeah. Listen Whoa. to. Okay. Listen to Matt. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Holy cannoli? Who says that? Alright, so I guess Radio Tower is our second option. Because at this point. Work. What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's not like it's floating in the sky. Because it it's might as in... well be it's pitch black out. Because Hopefully it's cold, bro. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. That makes more sense. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. I don't know. If I was in this situation, I wouldn't even be in this lounge at all. So that's one of the biggest mistakes all of these characters made so far. Coming back to the same spot that Hannah and Beth died in. I don't know. What is that? Oh my god, don't tell me. Don't tell me. <sighs> Fortune? Huh. Okay. So I got a fortune. That's not bad. Not bad at all. The moon's beautiful. The view's fantastic. 
But I still feel that uneasiness. <gasps> oh my god, don't tell me this is the same area Beth and Hannah died in. Oh my god, it is. It really yes, is. Matt, given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a of snowy cliff top. Wow, this is horrible. And they don't even... I bet they don't even know. Let's go. I bet they don't even know. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Wow. This this is not the vibes at all. You mean to tell me the whole time that this was happening, Sam is just chilling and and look, the guy in the mask, he is literally watching her. He's standing there watching her. Oh my god, she Hello? is so lucky. She is so lucky. Bro. Guys? Bro, what the hell? Taking, what are you doing out there? Taking her vegan bath Creepy. while people are being killed, kidnapped, okay. being lost. And Sam has, I don't know. I guess ignorance is bliss, but damn, you really did not notice what's been going on the whole time. And how long have you been taking a, a bath? You mean to tell me you're taking an hour-long bath? And, I don't know, she must have some really good bass or speakers for her not to even realize someone was standing over her, watching her taking a bath, like... Hook me up with whatever stereo you have. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Damn. Not cool at all. Oh, Lord. Of course, Sam would be the one to have no clothes. Because you know what? It's Hayden Panettiere. Let's, let's Chris? have her be the one with no clothes. Gosh. Yeah, I'm really not feeling the sudden change in music here. This is... And there's a balloon? A red balloon, to be exact. Like... Nah, fam. This is some It Chapter 2 type of shit. Because I am not feeling this at all. I don't see any clues for me to take to add to my list, so I guess I'll just follow the red balloon, right? Oh lord, I'm done. And there's so many candles, like this is a, this is a safety hazard with all these candles, like. Okay, so I don't really appreciate <laughs> You know what? That's the first thing I can agree with, Sam. Stupid ass, bitch ass, crusty, rusty, musty clock. Hey, yo. Chris? Mike? Emily? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. <laughs> Look at Sam walking around in. What's this? Film trophy found Washington Lounge. An award for a movie that Josh's dad directed. Winner, Best Horror Film 2009. Director Bob Washington, Blood Monastery. That explains why there are costumes in the basement. Wait, update? Oh, okay, okay, hold on. There's updated stuff. Let me see. Okay. No. Okay. Let me see what else. There's an update. 
Okay, so mine danger map, I remember this. Update, according to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Why? And then there's another update. Update, the photograph only showed 12 survivors. Is there any other updates? Ooh, this one. Matt and Emily found the axe down at the cable car station. Update. The label is the same as the cigar box found in the sanatorium. This is so cool. So basically, if I found any other clues that are related to the ones that I have already have, it basically puts in a nice little update. Not bad. Alright. How old, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Yo, Sam is ready to, like, jump people. Like, she's like, yo, this shit ain't cool. Like, if there's a scare, then you better, like, scare me now. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? I mean, it is, is a horror. I just love that. <laughs> It is a horror film, so it wouldn't be a horror film without someone being in a towel. And unfortunately, that someone is you, so sorry, Sam. I'm looking for any other clues that I can find. And if not, then I guess I'll just mm, go downstairs or something. Who knows? All right, downstairs it is. Oh, Lord. All right, so... I really don't like how the music just changed. And I see another clue, possibly? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same one. No biggie. I like how In this kitchen. house cooking something up. <laughs> I like how this cabin is so dusty. You guys in here? Ooh, what's this? No new messages. Damn, okay. No new messages. Wait a minute, what's the message? Yo, someone deleted the messages! Because I remember a couple episodes back when Chris was here, he was listening to a couple messages about some guy being loose caboose, and now there's no messages. Yo, this is crazy. So there's a possibility that the guy... Ooh. What the hell, bro? That TV just turned itself on. <laughs> Yo, I really don't like this at all. Like, that TV just turned itself on. I don't like this. This is not what I want. At all. Alright, let me see if there's any other clues over here. I know, it's like, really? You're really looking? I'm that type of player. I'm the type that likes to scavenge, that likes looking- You were trying to freak me out, guess what? You every succeeded. detail. Yeah, I agree, cause I'm freaked out too. At this point, I don't even want to be here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I admit, though, this lounge is pretty fucking huge. But the amount of cleaning, though, it's not really worth it. Let me see if I can go over here. Or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right in there, right in there. Come on, Sam, move! All right, there's a couple of places I can open, right? Like this? No. 
What about this door? Okay, so the guy with the mask, he definitely locked all So what do we have here? The hell is this? A an order for saws and cutting blades from an abattoir supply business? It's not what you expect to be delivered to a remote mountain lounge. Yo. Wait a minute. So one circular saw, five pieces of replacement blades? Someone ordered the equipment, the same equipment that killed Josh. No, something's not adding up. Because if there's a serial killer running around, I don't think said serial killer would have serial killer money. So... This... This is a... This is a setup. This is a setup. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! And the door's closed. So convenient. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my, oh my god! That's me in the shower! She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. Do you she think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's what? life? Creature? As Why it. Are you watching? Josh! How does it make you feel? Ah! Ah! What did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. No. Eight. No, 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 no. Seven. You know what? Fuck it. I'ma fight him. Piss me off. That's for my friend. Did you even lock the door? I'ma jump. Sorry. I'm not hiding. Anyways. I'm not gonna hide, he's gonna see me underneath the bed. What's the point? Oh, we're in the basement now. Oh my god, I hate the basement. I'm running, I ain't hiding. Fuck out of here. Great. Are you kidding me? No handle? Cool. There you go, that's the handle. Hey, yo, I'm done. Sam. Get out. Ooh, right on time, girl. Wow, I can't believe we made it. Thank God. 
Okay, so he basically walked away, which means nine times out of ten, he probably knows another way or another route to get to me. Question is, how many minutes do I have until I see him? What the hell? What the hell did I just get myself into? I'm, uh, I'm a hide? Fuck. Yeah, I'm hiding. Shit. Here, baby kitty. Here, pussy pussy. Wow, I've successfully held still. Just for hate and pen and tear. You're welcome. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan. Now, did it? Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment, you are foiled by your own inadequacies. Damn, I okay. I told you, everything you do has consequences. Consequences? You think this mistake won't have repercussions? What do you do? What do you say? Causes things to change. Yes. All the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm -hmm. Am I the. Fear of things that are dead. Am I the. Turned against these people who use a desperate one to torment. Has it been worth it? What the? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.